Hello witches, wizards, and potterheads. Welcome back to my magical corner of the internet here on my channel. Today I'm going to be telling you about when I met Dan Fogler at LeakyCon. If you were with me at LeakyCon, you would know this was one of the most awkward encounters of my entire life. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I met Dan on Saturday. We had our picture and then I met him again on Sunday for a signing. On Saturday, there was a panel with all the actors, so he was there. Recently, Dan has lost a lot of weight, so he was talking about it, saying that like, obviously a lot of people have been asking him about it because it's a noticeable amount of weight in a very short time. So he was saying one of his favorite things is when people ask him if he's dying because he lost a lot of weight so fast. And he's like, it's hysterical, I love it. Like, they'll ask me if I'm dying, when I say no, they're like, oh, well, you look good. So, like, 15 minutes later, I went for my picture with him, okay? So, I, like, hadn't planned out what I was going to say before the panel. And then, at the panel, he was like, oh, this is super hilarious when people ask me about this, I love it. So, I don't remember what my exact words were, but when I went up for my photo, I made a joke about him dying and like I remember finishing it with like you know from your panel and okay the only reason that I made a joke about it was because in the panel he was like it's hilarious I love it and the panel was not even that long before okay so I like make this joke he looks at me and is like oh god then we take our picture and I leave <laughs> And that's our whole interaction. And uh, I'm still like horror struck <laughs> at this encounter. I hope he does not remember it, this encounter because I don't want to. <laughs> so this is our picture. The picture actually came out pretty good. But every time I see it, I just think of him looking at me like, oh God. And me wanting an invisibility cloak so I can just run away and hide. <laughs> So, it was a big thing that I was like, I just met Dan Fogler, it was a terrible experience, I have to meet him again tomorrow <laughs> for the signing, what the heck do I do? Because after that, I was like, I don't, I don't even want to talk to him, but I can't just like give him my book and be like, Ugh. you know? So, um, I was like, I'm just going to ask him like how his con is going or something like that. So Sunday, I'm still like freaking out. Like I am so anxious about meeting him again. I like, ugh, I just honestly didn't want to. And it was really funny because he like was the most expensive person to meet. And he was like the person that I was like, I need a redo on that. Like that was terrible. I wish to not remember that. Whew. So I brought up my Fantastic Beast book as obviously I would. And over the weekend, like Dan's super into drawing, if you don't know, he like does comics and stuff, which I didn't know before that weekend. It was pretty cool. Um, I haven't read them. They seem like very sci-fi, noir, zombie-ish, kind of like The Walking Dead. Like, I don't know the premise of it, but just looking at the images, that's what it reminds me of, um, which would make sense to me because he's in The Walking Dead. But like, I don't do that kind of thing. Um, but anyways, my point was he's into drawing. So he drew on the like um, table where people were doing autographs. I think there was like a tablecloth or something and he drew a big picture of Dobby. And then over the weekend, other actors were also drawing on the tablecloth. So I just like made an offhand comment about it. And he like didn't really say anything. He's just kind of, mm, yeah. And I was like, mm, I only know how to draw elephant butts. Just to like have something to say, like he's, a, he's very hard to read, I feel like. So I was like, mm, maybe he'll find this funny because he didn't find my other comment funny. Um, and he was just like, hmm, interesting. And I don't know if it's because I made a comment about his drawing or if he's like doing this anyway, but he drew a picture of himself, signed it Jacob and then Dan Fogler. Um, and then I was on my way. So, overall, my experience meeting Dan Fogler, um, the interactions we had 
were um, horribly awkward. And um, yeah. And he also, I don't know if it was because, like, I don't know, on Sunday, like, there's less people there. It's a lot slower going. So there weren't, like, a ton of people online to get his autograph because I think everybody else had done it on Saturday for the most part. Um, but, like, the other actors had taken time specifically to, like, have a conversation with you. Like... Luke and Chris were, like, talking to people for, like, five minutes at least. And, like, Stan didn't go out of his way, I guess, to have long conversations with people. But, I don't know. Like, talking to Dana just seemed very, like, hey, here's your autograph. Okay, bye. Um, which probably in the long run was better for me. <laughs> because I just am awkward, apparently. I was fine around everybody else. He just like, I can't read his personality apparently. I don't know what it is. But anyways, yeah, that was that. I don't really have anything to say about it. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. All right, bye.